Hey guys, it's Alex here from Homey. And in today's video, I'm gonna be taking a look at Sonos. Now Sonos is a globally recognized brand for making some great smart speakers. And everyone knows that you can stream music via Spotify or create your own albums on the Sonos app and stream those songs directly to your smart speakers. You know, that's the really straightforward side of a speaker like this. Now, what many people don't realize is that by connecting them up with the rest of your smart home using a smart home hub like Homey, you can actually create more use cases and have these utilized in different ways. So for instance, you can hook them up to your front doorbell, and when that's pressed, have a doorbell sound directly come out of the smart speaker. Or you could, for instance, create a text-to-speech for a Sonos that says, dinner is ready. You can then attach that to a flow for when a button is pressed, have that button down in your kitchen, and when dinner is ready, press that button, and you can have dinner is ready spoken out in your entire home. So also in the kids' rooms to get them to come downstairs. So you no longer have to shout up at the children to get them to come for dinner. So let's start by connecting up the Sonos speakers into the Homey app and create some of those flows to really hook these up and make them a part of your smart home. So I'm here in the Homey app. And the first thing I'll do is head to devices and hit the plus in the top right to add a new device. Now I've already set these Sonos speakers up on the Wi-Fi network here at the office. So using Homey's device discovery, if you've got your Homey connected to the same network that you've set up your Sonos is on, you can quickly find the Sonos app highlighted here. And I can tap on it and tap on Sonos to connect the speakers. Then I'll need to connect the Sonos account that I have to Homey and give Homey access to control the speakers. So I'm quickly gonna sign in. And here you've gotta give Homey permission to control your Sonos speakers. So I'll hit okay and close the window. Then you can select the Sonos speaker you wanna be using. So for this video, I'm gonna be using the Sonos one here. And that's because the Sonos 5 is actually from a colleague of mine and I don't wanna mess with his smart speaker settings so that he can no longer use it. So this is just for show. So it was that easy to get Sonos connected. And once it's connected, you'll see it here in your device's overview. Now I can head into the Sonos speaker by holding on the device tile. Here you'll see an overview of what's playing. You can skip the song, you can set it to shuffle or to repeat. You can also swipe to the right, change the volume of what's playing. Swipe to the right again and you can quickly mute the speaker and you can see what group it's in as part of the Sonos grouping for different speakers. And last but not least, you can create a flow for your Sonos speaker. So let's jump into that and create a flow. So I wanna create a flow that's basically just my welcome home flow. So as soon as I get home, I want music to be playing in the background to welcome me home in an atmosphere that I really like. And you can combine this with lights. So connecting up that smart home. Let's create a quick flow for that. For the when card, I'm gonna say presence and I'm gonna say a specific user came home and in this case, me, so that I can have the exact music genre that I like playing on my Sonos. So a specific user came home and then I'll select who came home. So I'll say Alex and hit the check mark. So this flow will now trigger when I come home. Now, I actually want this only to trigger on weekdays. So I can add an and card and say, date and time, today is a, and then I can actually select the day of the week and say that it's a weekday. So I'm gonna say, okay, the day's a weekday and I'm coming home. Now this will often be after work. So I can then head to the then and assign what will happen for this flow. So I'm gonna say that I want the Film Studio Sonos, head to play a Sonos favorite, select an item, and I'm gonna select the hit list from the Sonos radio station. So every day it'll be a little bit different, but it'll be the hit list that Sonos recommends. So I'll hit save. Now, this is a relatively 
simple flow. So I'm coming home and the Sonos speaker will start playing that hit list. Now I wanna combine that with the lights turning on. So I'm gonna hit, add another card, head to my film studio zone, select my studio desk lamp in this case, and I'm gonna have it dim to a certain level. So I'm gonna say dim to about 60%. And dimming to 60%, if the bulb is off, will also turn the light on and dim it to that level. So I can save this and save the flow. I'm gonna call that welcome home. And I'll add a quick little emoji of a home and hit save. Now to demonstrate the flow in action, let me quickly turn off this light, head back to my Sonos device card, head to the flow panel, and I'll see the flows that use the Sonos speaker. So now I can just hit the play. That activates the flow, and you'll hear music starts playing on the Sonos speaker. So that's the basics of setting up a quick flow for having your Sonos speaker become a part of the rest of your smart home. So you'll see that I have turned on the lights and had music play. Now, if you're familiar with Homey, you know that it doesn't stop there. So if you have a smart thermostat or smart curtains and blinds, you can also set the temperature and have your curtains and blinds open as soon as you get home. Now I wanna cover another quick thing that you can do. And that's actually one of my favorites. I have this set up in my own house. And that's actually to set up a remote control for your Sonos speaker. So you don't need to grab your mobile phone and unlock it and then go through the process of changing the volume or skipping song, or walk up to the speaker and press the buttons on the top to reduce the volume or pause or play. You can actually assign these kind of actions using flows to a remote control. And in this case, I'm gonna be using the Fabaro key fob. And if you take a look at it, you'll see that I've got a minus and a plus button. So I'm gonna be assigning those to the volume. And then I have a series of other buttons, square, circle, X, triangle, and you can assign these to pause and play, or skip, or go back, and you can really set up a quick remote for your smart speaker. So I'm gonna create some flows to quickly do this and show you it in action. So for this flow, I have the when card as when the plus is pressed. So I want the volume actually to increase. And the key here is to use set relative volume. So that's actually increasing the volume based on what the volume is currently at. So you're not setting volume to a certain number. It's not when I press the plus that the volume is set to 60%, because then every time I press the plus, it's not going up or down, it's just set at 60. What I actually want is to add some volume as I press that button multiple times. So I'm gonna set relative volume and then select how much percent I want that volume to jump by every time I press the button. And I think I'm gonna choose around about 10% and hit the check mark. So now I'm adding 10% every time I hit that plus button. I'll quickly create one for volume down using set relative volume, but then minus 10%. So with those flows saved and running on Homey, I can now use this key fob to quickly control my Sonos speaker. So I'll press the square to initiate the music. And then as I tap the plus, you'll hear the volume increase and with the minus, it'll decrease. So now I'll quickly pause the music with the square button and you can see that it's that easy to set up a remote like this to control your Sonos speaker. And you can actually do this with any buttons you have around the house. So any smart buttons you have hooked up to Homey, you can assign to control a Sonos speaker. And that brings me on to the next thing I wanna show, which is actually playing custom sounds or phrases with your Sonos speaker. And that opens up a wide range of uses. So for instance, you can hook up your doorbell, if you have a smart doorbell, to your Sonos speaker and have a doorbell sound play directly here. And that means that if your doorbell doesn't have an indoor chime, but rather you get a notification on your phone, which is sometimes missed, you actually just want an audio sound, you can set this up. And you can have, when your doorbell is pressed, and I've got a doorbell here with me, one from Nexa, when this is pressed, I can have a sound play off of my Sonos speaker. And you can set any sound that you want. 
So you can have a futuristic doorbell or an old school doorbell that sounds like a church. So let's jump into how to do this and I'll show you real quick how to set this up. So I've already got my Nexa doorbell connected to Homey and you'll see it here in my devices screen. And that's quite a key part of this because what I want is to create a flow for when the doorbell is pressed. So if you're using a smart doorbell and there are quite a few on the market, some don't have indoor chimes or ringers. And maybe you do want a sound to happen inside your home for when there's someone at the door because receiving a notification on your phone is not always the best thing in case it's on a charger or not with you. You'll miss the fact that someone's at your door. So you want an indoor ring. Now to set this up, we're going to need the Sonos app, which I've already installed and I've got the device connected and we're going to need the soundboard app. Now the soundboard app for Homey allows you to actually download MP3s, install them on Homey and have these play out on your Sonos speakers. Let me show you real quick how you can set this up. So to start, let's head to the soundboard app. And I've already got this pre-installed on my Homey, but if you're looking for the app, I'll add a link in the description down below. So let's head to more and then apps. Here I want to find the soundboard app. So here it is. Select it and head into configure app. Now here you'll be able to add audio files that you've got downloaded on your phone. And to show you real quick how to download an audio file, it's relatively straightforward. But I'm using a platform called Zedge. And here you can quickly just search for a sound of your choosing. So I'm going to type in doorbell. And you can preview some of the sounds. Nope. Not that one. It's got an old churchy vibe. So I actually want to select that sound for my doorbell. I'm going to head into it and hit download. Then I'll download the sound clip, head back over to Homey, choose a file, head to browse, select that doorbell sound that I just downloaded, and I'll head back. So now that doorbell sound is actually imported onto Homey, and I can now use it in a flow with my Sonos. Now I'll head into flows, create new flow, and for the when card, I want to actually use the doorbell here. So I'm going to head into Film Studio, select the next doorbell, and doorbell is pressed. Then I want to use that soundboard clip that I just installed on my Sonos speaker. So I'm going to head down to the Sonos device, head down to play a soundboard sound, then select that old churchy doorbell sound and set the volume. Hit the check mark and save my flow. I'm going to call it someone is at the door. And I'll hit save. Now with that flow saved and running on Homey, I'll simulate someone being at my front door by pressing the button. And you'll hear the sound clip play on my Sonos and you can select any sound clip that you want. So this really lets you be creative and lets you select certain sound clips. So you don't have to use the same sound clip as I did with this old churchy feel to it, but you can grab maybe a more sci-fi or a more modern sounding doorbell and install that using Soundboard and then send it to your Sonos when your smart doorbell has been rung. Now, last but not least, I wanna cover one last really cool feature. And that's setting up any text-to-speech sentence that you want spoken to go via your Sonos speakers. And it's really simple to do. So it's all built into Homey and the Sonos app. So all I need to do is create a flow for it. And in this case, I want to make a flow for when dinner is ready. So that the dinner is ready sentence is spoken out by my Sonos speakers all around the house. So let's set this up with a quick flow. So for the when card, I'm actually going to go in and use my old trusty Fibaro key fob. So I'm going to head to the film studio, select the key fob, and select the circle button for this flow. 
Now, let me remind you that you can choose any smart button that you might have in your home. So you can assign this flow to any button, or you can just have it as this flow is started, create it into a widget, and then have it really quickly accessible from your smartphone. So when dinner is ready, you can press play and have this flow trigger. Now, for the then card, I'm gonna head in and add a card for my Sonos. So I'm gonna select it. I'm gonna tell it to say a message. So here you can type in anything that you want. So I'm gonna have it say, dinner is ready. Dinner is ready. And I'll set the volume. I'm gonna set it about, I think about 70%. I'll save that and save the flow. I'll call it dinner is ready. Add a little hamburger. And now with that flow saved and running on Homey, all I need to do, is grab my key fob here. And to show you this in action, let's press the circle. Dinner is ready. And you'll hear my Sonos say, dinner is ready. And with that, everybody in my house knows that dinner is ready. And you can use these say commands to say anything that you want. So for instance, I could have used it to let me know that somebody's at the door when the doorbell has been rung. Or for instance, if you want it to be part of your movie time flow, you can add this in and say, it's movie time and have your Sonos speaker say these commands. Now I've tried to show you a quick mix of different uses for Sonos. So not only can you stream music to it, but you can also use it to play custom MP3 files or say some text to speech phases, and you can work these all into your flows around your smart home. Now, I hope that I've given you the tools to get creative and really make a better smart home for yourself and have Sonos speakers become a better part of that experience.